Hello and welcome. My name is Amulli and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install NetBeans on Microsoft Windows 10. So this is Apache NetBeans website. Simply go to netbeans.org and click on download. So we will first download it and then install it. So go ahead and click on download. And you can see this is Apache NetBeans 11 and here is the link download link so click on it and then you go go for binaries download click on it do not go for the source one you go for the binaries so click on this and this is the recommended download mirror link so click on this and hit on ok let it be downloaded but I already have downloaded one for this video so here you can see I have one NetBeans 11 now in order to go ahead and run the NetBeans on Microsoft Win Windows system we need to have Java JDK so you can simply Google for it Java JDK 12 or I will leave the link you can get the link from the description so once you are here under downloads tab click on this Java JDK 12 download button here scroll down on at the very bottom and you can see there are two options one is the executable file download and the other one is zip so we will go ahead and download the executable one I'm going to hit on it but before that you make sure you check this accept license box and then hit download button for Microsoft Windows and this is going to be 64 bit Again, I'm not going to save it. I already have one downloaded, so I'm going to cancel it. Now I'm quickly going to launch, open the downloads folder, and here you can see I've got Java JDK 12.01 for Windows 64-bit. Simply right-click on it and run as an administrator, or just double-click on it, open it. Doesn't matter. Now let it be down installed. It should take some time and then we will go ahead and add this Java JDK to the install on a computer yeah I don't know if I already have one I don't have I just deleted it JDK 12 you can see so everything seems to be fine it's not there so this JDK is going to be installed and then we will go ahead and add this JDK path path to the system path. So I'm going to open the my this PC here. You can see this PC, and then go to C drive, and then go under programs. And here we have Java, and this has been installed. You can see successfully installed you can read it here so close it open it and then go open bins just copy the path so it's very simple under C we have 64-bit program files then Java then Java JDK 12 and then we have bin so copy it close this go ahead and click on this Windows button and type variable edit system variable hit on vari uh, environment variables under system variables scroll down and select the path and then hit enter uh, add new and just paste that java jdk bin link here and say, uh, click ok now if you go ahead and launch your terminal and type Java it is working so you can go ahead and say Java C version again there was something okay 12.0.1 so that's perfectly fine Java JDK is working and it's been set to the path system path so I'm going to close this one 
Now this is basically NetBeans 11. If you want you can go ahead and install the previous one which which is going to be 10. It's already available over there uh, which is here. You simply go back and this is 10. Whichever one is good for you go ahead and download it. Download and install it. So here we have I just extracted it and this is NetBeans 11. So I'm going to copy this one and go to this PC and then C drive. Anywhere here simply paste it. And again this is going to take some time. Once it's over I'll be right back. Thank you for your patience. So you can see the NetBeans extracted and unzipped file has been pasted over to C drive. I'm quickly going to change the name. So NetBeans, make sure you extract the zip folder or just unzip it, whatever works for you, and then paste that NetBeans in any drive. So this is going to be C drive for me. It could be D drive, E drive, whatever for yourself. Now we will go ahead and open it. Open it and then go to bin and this is 64 bit. So I'm going to click on it, double click on it and this is going to launch it. You can see it and this will take some time. So this is basically first time first launch so it's going to take some time. I'll be right back. Alrighty so thank you so much for your patience. You can see this is NetBeans and it, it's been installed and it's just trying to launch it and it's scanning a project which I just have here. So you can do a few things here after launching NetBeans you can pin this NetBeans icon to the taskbar or you can go to the C drive and right click on it and create a shortcut and just drag it over to the desktop. Here it is you can see and then, then close it. You can do few things here so basically you can go to tools go to plugins and this is going to initialize the plugin available plugin downloaded plugin installed plugin you can select some of these plugins and just let's say I want to go with this uh, something new let's say groovy I will have to activate it so simply select whatever language plugin you need you can select multiple and then you have to hit activate in case you want to uninstall it so some of them are already activated so let's say PHP I can select it and uninstall it for the the terminal you need this uh, something called okay so it this will give you a, the SIG SIG would win I think that's what it's called so that needs to be installed. Um, let me go ahead and show you what I want exactly talking about. So this is what you need for terminal SageWin. This is what is supported for with this Apache NetBeans 11. So you you will require that. You will have to download and install it. So you can go ahead and quickly type SageWin. I don't know how to pronounce it. And yeah here we go go ahead and simply download it here it is install button where is it oh here we are. and then this is for Microsoft Windows so you can simply go ahead and download this exe file and install it and then you will have to restart the NetBeans and next time when you go to tools uh, 
where is it windows where is the terminal yeah oh, here we are then this will launch with the sage when okay so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now